It's move-in day for a few Boscobel neighbors three months after the flood hit, but the city is still far from moved on. Their apartment submerged this summer, but some Boscobel neighbors are finally back home tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Eric Franke. That flooding happened back in mid-June, dumping inches of rain over just a couple of days. And it wasn't just high water, but thick mud left behind in homes and basements and a massive mudslide, you'll recall, that covered Highway 61. Governor Walker toured the damage and helped bring in FEMA funds to help residents and businesses as well. The cleanup continues and new at 10. It was move-in day for some of Boscobel's older neighbors, and the night team's Danica Lewis was there. Well, among the many who ended up underwater in June, a building full of elderly residents, all living in low-income subsidized housing, left with virtually nothing after the flood. So you can imagine how much a homecoming meant and how much they're hoping this move is the last. Well, this is considerably lighter than the last one. So. I can't wait. <laughs> But that's just what Ann Pitsley did, waited for this day for three months. I got right up and I stepped in water up to my ankles. That foot or so of flooding ruined all of Ann's furniture. Everything in the short term place is from her son. So volunteer movers packed it all up from three apartments, only to unload it across the parking lot. We try to work with everybody to, to minimize the, the effect on their on their lives. And this was, was one way we, we could do that by getting them just right across the street in temporary housing. Dry carpet and all, the Willow Ridge apartments needed months of renovations before anything could be moved back in. I just got used to this and I liked it. Now I like it better because everything is new. B. Randall was like a little girl on Christmas. I couldn't sleep nights just wondering how, when it going to happen. So she loaded up her sleigh. Oh, just like what's on it right here and pull it down over the bank. Soon enough, Randall's kitchen was crowded and the floor covered like it once was with water. There's still more to move. Six or seven families need to get back into this complex alone. The, the community's really come together to, to help uh, make people whole again. But uh, we're, we're not finished yet. There's still still some work to be done. But it's opening the door to an old home for a new start. I can look at this and not worry because so many people are so much worse off than what I am. It seems more like home. And the emergency management director hoping for good news in the next few weeks. Both Grant County and the city of Boscobel applied for housing grants, each $500,000. Those federal dollars would help neighbors with serious structural damage make repairs. The community has already donated nearly $100,000 to aid the flood victims. All of that money, guys, will be very well used. Sure. Because there's still a lot of people to help out there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Totally Glad to see her use her sleigh, too. Yes, <laughs> of course. Even when there's no snow yeah. on the ground, there's way to use it. it thanks, Danica. Danica, thanks.